Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. Xiaozan and Lee can join hands again, Mihu Yin martial arts dream comes true, worth looking forward to. Recently, a piece of news that excited fans came Xiaozan and Lee Kin will join hands again to co-star in the costume martial arts drama Mihu Yin. This drama is adapted from the 9.8 point high scoring novel Guanshan Nanbri, which has attracted much attention before it was broadcast and it has whetted the appetite of the audience. The original work Guanshan Nanba Ears won the love of many readers and accumulated extremely high popularity with its gripping plot, rich in three-dimensional characters and grand worldview. Its wonderful story provides a solid foundation for the adaptation of the TV series, making the audience full of expectations for the drama version. Ziozan, an actor with good looks and acting skills, has attracted much attention since his debut. His role as Wei Wuxin in The Untamed is impressive and his outstanding performance in many works such as Yugu Yao and The Sea in My Dream has further proved his strength. This time in Mihu Yin, Xiaozan plays Yan Yuayang, the Prince of Biyan. Yan Yuayang has a tragic fate. He has lived in a cold and ruthless environment since he was a child. The indifference of his relatives forced him to embark on the road of Lone Ranger. In order to survive in a dangerous environment, he chose to disguise himself, even dressed as a woman, and became the young master of Lin Lang Villa. There are many contrasts in this character. He is a black-bellied prince who is calm and composed in the court struggle, and a lovesick boy who has no clue about love. Ziozan needs to play multiple identities in the play, showing the heroism of the rivers and lakes and the majesty of the prince, which is undoubtedly a huge challenge for his acting skills. Ziozan's previous performance in martial arts works such as Zhu Xian and The Legend of the Condor Heroes is remarkable. He has always been excellent in controlling the role. I believe that this time he can also interpret the complex and multifaceted role of Yan Yuayang to the fullest. Li Qin has always been loved by the audience for her cold and noble temperament and excellent acting skills. From princess agents to white deer plane, she continues to break through herself and show the charm of various roles. In Plum Blossoms, she plays Pei Yun, a chivalrous woman with a sense of patriotism. Pei Yun was born into an aristocratic family but she disguised herself as a man since she was a child and wandered around the world. Later, she became an Avenger who avenged her family's grievances. She has a strong character and decisive actions. She not only has the chivalrous and tender feelings of a child in the arena, but also has many wonderful fighting scenes. Leekin herself has a cold temperament and is full of heroism, which is very suitable for the role of Peyun, a chivalrous woman. Her ancient costumes are stunning and changeable, her fighting scenes are clean and neat and her lines are relaxed. I believe that she will bring a unique soul to Peyun, allowing the audience to see a female hero with flesh and blood who dares to love and hate. Xiaozan and Li Qin have previously collaborated in many works, such as The Wolf, Fighting in the Sky, Celebrating Union, The Sea in My Dream and Zhu Xian, and they have a full sense of tacit understanding between them. This time they work together again, and their acting skills and looks complement each other, which is expected to bring a wonderful visual feast to the audience making the emotional line between Yan Yuayang and Pei Yun more convincing, and people are looking forward to what kind of sparks they will create in the play. As the Prince of Biyan, Yan Yuayang's fate is rough and tortuous. He grew up in a cold environment and learned to use disguise to protect himself. The plot of a man dressed as a woman not only adds to the fun of the character, but also shows his wit and helplessness. His dark and crazy characteristics enable him to respond calmly and make decisive decisions when facing court struggles and his infatuation makes this character more three-dimensional in flesh and blood. Ziozan needs to present these complex characteristics perfectly through delicate performances, so that the audience can feel his wisdom and depth, and be moved by his persistence in love. The character of Pei Yun is full of chivalry. Although she is a woman, she has the courage and perseverance that are not inferior to men. The experience of dressing up as a man made her more independent and strong. With the righteousness of her country and family in mind, she would do anything to redress the injustice of her family. In the emotional entanglement with Yan Yuayang, she also experienced many struggles in her heart. Li Qin needs to interpret Pei Yun's chivalrous style, her inner softness and firmness, and her contradictory psychology in front of love just right, so that the audience can deeply understand the complexity of this character. The plot of Plum Blossom is rich and diverse, full of various fascinating elements. The story mainly revolves around a series of stories between the hero and Pei Yun and the hero Yan Yuayang in the process of supporting the Southern Song Dynasty. In the play, the acquaintance of the male and female protagonists originated from a misunderstanding. 
Yan Yuang mistakenly thought that Pei Yun was his fiancé dressed as a man, so he imprisoned her. This tense and interesting setting makes the audience look forward to how they will fall in love with each other under such a background. In the first half, the love, hatred and hatred between the two in the rivers and lakes are gripping. They are in different positions, have their own missions and goals, and constantly collide in the grievances and entanglements of the rivers and lakes. The second half focuses on the plot of them fighting for the justice of their country and family. The relationship between the two gradually deepens as the plot progresses, but they also face many misunderstandings and tests. In this process, they not only have to face the dangers in the rivers and lakes, but also get involved in the power struggles in the court. The plot is mixed with elements such as court conspiracy and family revenge. The plot is complex and rich. It has both a majestic momentum of costume dramas and the romantic atmosphere of sweet and cruel combination. Suspense elements are also incorporated into the plot, setting up many suspense and mysteries, making the story more fascinating. What is Yan Yuang's true identity and purpose? What secrets are hidden behind the grievances of Pei Yun's family? These suspense will run through the whole process, attracting the audience to step into the plot step by step and follow the footsteps of the protagonists to uncover the mystery. In addition to the two leading actors Zio Zan and Li Qin, the supporting cast of Plum Blossom introduction is also very strong, with many powerful actors such as Wu Gang, Tian Yu, Zhe Ziaowen, and Meng Zui. Wu Gang is a senior old drama bone with superb acting skills, who can deeply portray the character and inner world of the character. His participation adds more heaviness and depth to the series. Whether he plays a righteous character or a sinister villain, he can bring wonderful performances to the audience. Tiang Yu is loved by the audience for his unique performance style and solid acting skills. He can bring a lot of light-hearted and humorous elements to the plot, and can also interpret the character's emotions in a delicate and nuanced manner. Young actors such as Hei Ziaowen and Meng Ziyi also have excellent acting skills and potential. Their roles add a lot of color to the plot and make the whole story more colorful. The help of these powerful actors makes every character in the play more vivid and lively. Their wonderful performances will complement the protagonists and jointly build a colorful and charming martial arts world. Ziozan is no longer the target of marketing and hype by the organizers of Weibo, he simply has no time to join in the fun. Ziozan seems to no longer be the most dazzling star on Weibo. This sentence stings a little, but we have to face this reality. Once upon a time, he almost dominated the Weibo hot search list, but now he is absent from the 2024 Weibo Vision Conference. This scene makes many fans feel complicated and lost. He used to be the king of traffic, but now he is really starting to cold. Does it mean that the attention of the Weibo platform to him has weakened? Or does Ziozan choose to live a low-key life, let go of the pressure and enjoy a long vacation? What happened behind all this? Looking back to 2019, Ziozan almost became the king of traffic on Weibo. As long as he posted a Weibo, fans rushed to him and his name Ziozan almost always occupied a place on the hot search list. With The Untamed, he quickly rose to become a top traffic star, with advertising endorsements, movies and variety shows. It can be said that he is the traffic overlord of social platforms. During that time, his Weibo had new updates every day, and the comment area was extremely active every time it was updated, which shows that the fans were very enthusiastic. Everyone calls him Weibo number one, and he is indeed worthy of the name. How long can this craze last? At the 2024 Weibo Vision Conference, Ziozan did not appear on the shortlist. At first glance, is this news surprising? Think about it, he used to be the traffic spokesperson of Weibo, and the platform almost regarded him as a treasure. How could he suddenly disappear? Everyone knows that the Weibo Vision Conference is an important stage for celebrities to compete for traffic and exposure. Having a place on this stage means popularity remains. But now that Ziozan is absent, does it mean that he has no time to join in the fun, and now he is focused on movies? The current hot topics on Weibo are no longer centered around him. Emerging faces such as Wang Yibo and Xiao Yibo have emerged one after another, constantly launching new dramas, variety shows and music works, hot topics are emerging in an endless stream, and the number of fans is also increasing rapidly. And what about Ziozan? This year seems to be unusually low-key. Apart from occasionally releasing some small activities or advertisements, there are almost no significant works. Is it preparing for next year's work? By then, it will not be as simple as being a top streamer. Speaking of this, fans are obviously not very satisfied. The reactions on Weibo are varied. Some fans are directly blown up, 
thinking that Zion's absence is a manifestation of being neglected or forgotten. They have questioned whether Weibo deliberately did not create topics for Zion. Some fans even think that this time Weibo deliberately eliminated Zion from the traffic pool. However, from another perspective, Weibo's approach is not entirely out of some kind of conspiracy. Everyone should understand that the entertainment industry is like an endless competition. To stay active in the public eye, you have to keep the topic. But Ziozan's popularity remains unabated, and true fans are still true love. In fact, the replacement of traffic is a common phenomenon in the entertainment industry, especially on social platforms such as Weibo. People who can continue to trigger discussions can be in the spotlight. For example, new generation stars like Wang Yibo have frequently appeared on hot searches through new dramas, new works and new variety shows, thus quickly gaining the attention of the platform. And what about Ziozan? In the 2024 Bay Area Rising Moon Greater Bay Area Film and Concert County Live, he and Karen Muck sang there are so many people in this world and it made a sensation on the entire network. There are so many people in this world, I'm lucky to meet you. In fact, Ziozan is not completely out of date. Although his exposure rate has decreased this year, he still has a strong fan base, and the support he wants it is not easy to disappear. Looking at the comments on Weibo, everyone is still cheering for him and shouting wait for you to return, and this enthusiasm remains the same. He is preparing for a real big explosion next year, and then it will not be as simple as being a top streamer. He still has a huge fan base, which is his advantage. In the entertainment industry, fan support is crucial. If he can make full use of this and find the right time to start again, there will be absolutely no problem. Although the popularity of the entertainment industry is always fluctuating, as long as someone can accurately grasp the opportunity, there is still hope to return to the top. At present, Ziozan may also have new opportunities. As long as he can attract the audience again through a high-quality drama or some variety shows, his popularity will surely rise rapidly. In fact, the current predicament Ziozan is facing is also a journey he must accept. This transition from peak to trough is a challenge that every star must face. Look at those traffic stars who once had unlimited scenery. How many of them have also experienced the low point of being regarded as outdated, but they have successfully returned to the public eye through a wonderful drama, a moving song or a hotly debated variety show? This is the entertainment industry. Nothing is eternal. As long as you still show yourself in the public eye, there will always be new opportunities. Ziozan is no longer the object of marketing and hype by the organizers of Weibo. He, Ziozan has no time to join in the fun. After all, in this entertainment industry, on the ever-changing stage, who can accurately judge? Who would have thought that he might become a frequent visitor on the hot search list again with a new drama or a new song at an unexpected moment? This road may be longer than we imagined. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.